Hey everyone, welcome to The Daily for Friday, June 17th. I'm Greg Lawless, flying solo here as we head into the big weekend for the U.S. national team. Quarterfinals of the Gold Cup starting on Saturday. Mexico will be playing Guatemala on Saturday in New York before the U.S. take on Jamaica on Sunday. Those are the two big games. There are, of course, two other quarterfinals. Before we get to that, though, let's talk about tonight's game in MLS. Sporting Kansas City hosting the San Jose Earthquakes at Livestrong Sporting Park. And KC, of course, still looking for their first goal, their first win in their new home stadium. They did get the win last week in Dallas. That was huge for them, a 4-1 victory over FC Dallas. But the Earthquakes coming in, feeling good after their 4-2 victory against DC last week. Steven Leonard was the man in that one with a hat trick. He's in great form and will be very difficult to, to stop for Sporting Kansas City. Kansas City, some uh, roster concerns of their own. Will Ryan Smith be healthy? Then again, he might be sold to Atlas, so he might not even be around. But Graham Zuzzi, the man in form for Sporting Kansas City, he played very well in their first home game, and he got two goals in their victory against Dallas last week. The game is at 8.30 p.m. tonight on Fox Soccer. We will also have a live chat here on MLSsoccer.com, so join us for that. Moving on to the Saturday games, there's a full slate going on, but the big one, the Colorado Rapids hosting the LA Galaxy at Dick's Sporting Goods Park. That game you can watch online at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. We spoke to Pablo Mastroeni just yesterday on Extra Time Radio, and he's going to be going for his 300th game in MLS. Hard to believe that he's been around that long, considering the form he is still in. But they have a big task against the LA Galaxy, who are obviously the top team in the West right now. The Galaxy, though, without Landon Donovan or Donovan Ricketts, both of them off in Gold Cup duty. On Sunday, another big game, the Portland Timbers will be hosting the New York Red Bulls. We spoke to Robbie Earle, the broadcaster for the Portland Timbers on Extra Time yesterday, and he said he's looking forward to a great match. Obviously, Thierry Henry and Luke Rogers, one of the top striking partnerships in MLS. They'll be very difficult. The Timbers, on the other hand, they've lost two in a row at home after having that great start at Gel Blend Field. Can they get it back? That remains to be seen. They need to start working to get a couple more set pieces because that's their bread and butter. So a full slate of games in MLS all weekend long. There's other action as well, though, the Gold Cup quarterfinals. The big game on Saturday night at 8 p.m., it's Mexico-Guatemala. For Mexico, the New York Red Bulls star Rafa Marquez has not been training with the team in full. We're not sure yet whether he will be in the starting lineup and be ready to go. For Guatemala, it's all about Marco Papa. He had a goal and was involved in three others for Guatemala in their big win against Grenada in their final game in the group stage. Again, that game is at 8 p.m. and it's on Univision. On Sunday is the big game for the U.S., 3 p.m. Eastern time, they take on Jamaica on on Fox Soccer. The game is at RFK Stadium down in Washington, D.C. Lots of questions around the U.S. team right now. Their performance against Guadalupe, although they got the win, it was not the best performance we've seen from them. Clint Dempsey did not seem on form. Missed that sitter from about two feet away. And there's a big storyline coming out regarding Clint Dempsey and Landon Donovan. Both of them were allowed to leave the team to go to their sister's weddings. They will return late Saturday night, early Sunday morning. The question still is, will they be ready to play at 3 p.m. Eastern time? Will Bob Bradley put them in the starting lineup? All of that remains to be seen when the U.S. take on Jamaica. Again, that's at 3 p.m. Eastern time on Fox Soccer quarterfinals in the Gold Cup. We will have a live chat here on MLSsoccer.com, so join us for that. A little bit of other news coming out of MLS. Pavel Pardo, it was rumored that he was going to be going to Chicago. Not going to happen. The Fire have denied the rumors that Pavel Pardo, the Mexican legend, will be joining the Fire. But there is some news maybe going the other way. Pachuca have come out and said that they are actively pursuing American players. We, of course, know that Jose Francisco Torres is with the Gophers. What other Americans might go? We'll see if they actually do go out and maybe spend some money to buy some American players. Don't forget, Extra Time Radio came out yesterday. We spoke with Robbie Earle from Portland. We spoke with Pablo Mastroeni from the Colorado Rapids. And even Shea Salinas from Vancouver telling us about the riots that took place after the Stanley Cup final. You can get that on iTunes or on Buzzsprout. And another thing. The All-Star Twitter ballot is out, so if you want to tweet your vote for the fan vote for the All-Star game, go on to MLSsoccer.com, check out the Twitter ballot, and you can start to tweet your votes around. That runs from today all the way through Monday, June 20th. That's it for the Daily. We'll talk to you on Monday.